Step one to getting the best export setting is go to the top right hand corner and you're going to see AI Ultra HD. Now, if you do not see this, make sure the app is updated. Tap on that, you're gonna see the export options. If you're a paid CapCut user, you will be able to use AI Ultra HD. And if you don't know what that is, you can tap on it and it's gonna show you a before and after. They're claiming it's gonna make your video clearer and smoother using AI enhancements. I haven't used this yet, but let me know if it works out for you. The important thing is underneath that, and that would be your resolution. Now it's important that you know your resolution in the videos that you shot. And inside your camera, inside of your phone, you are going to be able to go to your settings and get the resolution settings. For YouTube, the lowest resolution you should be shooting in for normal content is 1080p. But if you shot it in 2K, move it up to 2K. If you shot in 4K, move it up to 4K. Underneath that will be your frame rate. And also in your camera settings, it will tell you what your frame rate is. You can move that down to 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second, or as high as 60 frames per second, depending on how your camera is set up. I generally shoot between 2K and 4K for resolution, and my frame rate will vary between 24 frames per second to 30 frames per second, depending on the project that I'm working on. Underneath that is optical flow. You can tap on example and it will give you a before and after. And they're claiming that it's gonna match the frame rate to export setting for a smoother playback. Now I haven't used this feature, but the example they're showing on the left is really bad. And most people's video is not gonna look like that. But if you're paying for CapCut, turn it on, experiment with it, see how it makes your videos look. Underneath that would be your code rate or your bit rate. This is gonna affect the actual quality of the video. If you don't know what you're doing, Leave it unrecommended. CapCut will choose the best for you. However, if you find that the video you started with looks worse than when you started, you can adjust the quality and bring it up to high or somewhere in between. But note that the higher this is moved up, the larger the file size will become. So make sure you have storage space on your device. Underneath that is Smart HDR. I generally leave that off. Now, once you have all of these settings in the right place, all you need to do is tap on export in the top right hand corner and CapCut is going to export your video. Now, depending on the length of the video, how many effects you have in the video and the power of your device, this could export quickly or it could export slowly. Either way, this is what exporting looks like. It's gonna give you a percentage to let you know how close it is to being finished and it's going to save the video somewhere on your device. Depending if you're on an Android, an iOS device, or a computer, it could save it all sorts of different places. So you might have to go hunt for it if you're not familiar with rendering out videos inside apps. Now, if you wanna learn how to add audio to your videos the safe way, or do a deeper dive into CapCut as an absolute beginner, tap on either one of the videos showing on the screen right now, and I'll help you do that.